Hey everyone, I'm here to do my In My Mailbox vlog of this week. In My Mailbox is hosted by Christy over at Story Siren, where we show what we got this week. Um, my In My Mailbox for this week is huge. I got a ton of books in that were ordered from a book depository, and I got in some uh, e-galleys from that galley, and yeah. Um, let's get started. Um, I'm going to name the e-galleys that I have. I don't have an e-reader, so I can't show you the cover or whatever. Um, but I will tell you, in short, a little bit about the book, because I want to get started with the real books. Um, first up, I got Wildfire by Carson Knight. This is about a girl um, who is tired of her sister and then goes um, to some kind of expensive boarding school. And then discovers that there are gods and goddesses on that school. And she is one of them. And there's some kind of war between the gods um, coming. So it sounds really, really good. That's a YA debut for 2011. So really looking forward to that one. Then I got Spellbound by uh, Carolyn Schultz. Um, this is about a girl who is also going to a boarding school. And she meets this guy, Brendan. And she really, really likes him. But then she starts getting visions, and the visions tell her to stay away from the guy, um, or else. So that sounds really good as well. Then I got The Lipstick Laws by Amy Holder. I think you all heard about this book. This is about a girl who isn't noticed by any of her schoolmates and decides to spend lunch uh, time at the most popular girl in school, their table. And she discovers that there's a really high price for the friendship with the most popular girl in school. Um, then I got The Betrayal of Maggie Blair. This is a historical fiction and it's about a girl who gets accused of being a witch. So she is sentenced to death by hanging. And I don't have a lot of experience with historical fiction so I'm looking forward to, re to reading some of that. Um, if you have suggestions of uh, good historical fiction, let me know. I heard about The Revolution by... Um, what's her name? Something Donnelly? I'm sorry, I don't know the name anymore. Um, then I got Cin Cinderella. This is a retelling of Cinderella. Um, it's written by Melissa Lemon. Uh, it sounds really good. Uh, there are a lot of retellings out there right now, so... Yeah, uh, I haven't heard much about it, so looking forward to reading that. And then last but not least, this is the title that I'm probably most excited for, uh, Breathe by Sarah Crossan. Um, this is a dystopian and this is also a debut for 2012. Uh, it's about a world in which only the rich people can breathe because oxygen is really scarce. And the rich people live in some kind of pod and they can breathe in it. And the poor people are just left outside to struggle breathing and eventually die. So it sounds really, really good. I'm so excited to read it. So we'll definitely be reviewing that book as soon as I finished it. And that's it for the e-galleys. Um, so now on to the real books. Um, I got Persephone the Phony and... Aphrodite the Beauty, both by Joan Holup and Suzanne Williams. These are book two and three in the Goddess Girl series. I al already have book one. And aren't these covers the cutest? I love them. And this one from Aph Aphrodite has little birds on the back. And Persephone has flowers because she is the goddess of um, harvest. I hope I say that right. If I didn't, sorry. Um, and I also noticed that there was a bookmark in it. This is the uh, centimeters to feet converter. And according to this one, I am five foot nine. Learn something. And there's a ruler on the back. So that's funny or handy. Um, so yeah, got book two, two and three. Um, then I got an adult title. This is Succubus Blues by Rochelle Mead, and I probably butchered the title of this book because I can't pronounce it. Um, I've read the first book in her Vampire Diary... Vampire Diaries. I always make this mistake. Um, 
Her Vampire Academy series and I really liked it. I haven't read book two yet. Um, I'm planning on doing that really soon. Um, but I haven't really had much time to read this week or the past couple of weeks. I'll tell you a bit about that later. Um, but sounds really good. I'm looking for more paranormal romance and urban fantasy books um, in the adult f fiction category. So this should be fitting in there. Looking forward to reading this one. Then I got an anthology. Uh, corsets and Clockwork. Um, edited by Trisha Taleb and um, I honestly only picked this up because I heard Kirsten White and Maria V. Schneider were um, authors in this book but I also discovered that Tessa Gretton from Blood Magic um, has a story, Caitlin Kidredge uh, who wrote The Iron Thorn which was really good and Michael Scott uh, who wrote the Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel series, um, which is a really awesome series. If you haven't read it yet, you should pick up a copy. Um, Dia Reeves, I believe she wrote Bleeding Violet. And, well, Maria V. Snyder and Kirsten White. And there are a ton of other authors as well. It sounds really, really good. There are 13 stories in this, all uh, steampunk romances and... Yeah, it just sounds really, really good, and I have haven't had a book that I loved in steampunk category, so hopefully this will um, help a little. Um, then I got one that I was really, really looking forward to after reading Will Grayson, Will Grayson, so you can guess what book it is. It's Looking for Alaska by John Green, and I got this black cover because it's the cheapest. Um... This golden thing is a prize, the Michael R. Prince Award for Excellence in Young Adult Literature. Um, so that's really, really good. Um, this is about a guy who meets a girl named Alaska and he's intrigued by her. I believe that's basically um, the bottom line in this story. But it sounds really, really good and I'm so looking forward to reading more of John Green's stuff because he's amazing. So... Then I got Gone by Michael, Michael Grant. This is the first book in the series. Um, this is about a dystopian future. And, uh, I'm sorry. Um, in this world, all of a sudden all the adults disappear. And only uh, children, toddlers and babies and teenagers are left. And there's no phone, no internet, no television. So they can't ask for help. And um, there are people, or the children, are developing strange powers. So that sounds really, really interesting. And I've heard so many great things about this series. Um, so I decided to pick it up. I didn't expect it to be this big. I don't really pay attention to the amount of pages in the book when I order it. But this one is 558 pages. So that's quite big. That's... Yeah, quite big. So, but it sounds really, really good, and I love dystopians. Heard great things, so it should be a good book, right? Then I got a middle grade uh, debut for 2011. I got Jacob Wonderbar and the Cosmic Space Kapow by Nathan Bransford. Bransford, and um, this is about a guy named Jacob, and he trades a corn dog for a spaceship. And he and his friends go uh, for a test ride with a spaceship, spaceship and they accidentally destroyed the universe. So that sounds really, really funny. Um, I've been following uh, Nathan on uh, Twitter for quite some time and I didn't even realize he was working on a book until he said that his book was coming out. So, and it sounds really, really good. I haven't read a lot of middle grade lately. Um, but it sounds really good and I actually s just I was like ah! when I saw this this is the cover underneath the dust jacket but look at this it has glitter and yes I know I'm a dork but I like glitter hope you can see it's so sparkly I love it um and I got a bookmark with it again this ruler thing um, 
and oh, the ruler is on my side. Smart. Um, but this one also has drawings in the in it. Let me see if I can find one like this one. And chapters look like this. And it has like little drawings in it. I think this is hilarious. Um, this should be a really, really quick read. It's not even 250 pages, I think. Um, but it just looks really, really cute. And it's the first in a series. Um, so there should be coming out more books. But I already love it. So, <laughs> Jacob Wonder Bar. And then last but not least, I got a finished copy of a book that I already read and loved. I got Star Cross by Josephine Angelini and I already read this and I raved about it. And it's just really, really good. And this is really shiny. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's some holographic hue over it. Um, this is about a girl named Helen and she discovers... Um, that she is related to um, Greek gods. I'm not gonna tell you which ones. Um, and she discovers this when the Delos family um, comes into where she lives. She lives in Nantucket. And the Furies follow her around. And it's just a really, really good book. It has a ton of romance. And I like the twist. And um, I like the naming of the characters because there's someone who has a great name in it. Um, but it just is a great book, and this is the cover underneath it. It's um, a bit of a lilac -y color. It's way more red-purple than blue-purple than my camera shows it. And this is the spine, which is really, really pretty with a light blue font. Um, if you haven't picked it up, I would recommend you do. Um, I really like this book, and I'm really looking forward to Dreamless, which will be coming out in 2012. So, yeah! Um, that's all I got this week. I know I got a ton of books this week. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with all the books that I got. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have suggestions for adult paranormal romance books or urban fantasy with a little bit of romance in it. Um, let me know what you got in your mailbox this week and I'll talk to you guys later.